yields back the chair is recognized. Mr. Hur, why did he do it? Why did Joe Biden, in your words, willfully retain and disclose classified materials? I mean, he knew the law. Been in office like 50 years, five decades in the United States Senate, chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, eight years as vice president. He got briefed every day as vice president. He's been in the Situation Room. In fact, you know he knew the rules because you said so on page 226. President Biden was deeply familiar with the measures taken to safeguard classified documents. And Joe Biden told us he knew the rules. Mr. Armstrong said this earlier. Joe Biden was deeply familiar with it. You're exactly right, because he told us when Jack Smith goes after President Trump, Joe Biden says, how could this happen? What data was in those documents that could compromise sources and methods? It's irresponsible. So Joe Biden knew the rules. You know he knew the rules. And Joe Biden told us he knew the rules. So Mr. Hur, why did he break them? Congressman, the conclusion uh, as to exactly why uh, the president did what he did is not one that we explicitly address in the report. The report explains my decision uh, to the attorney general that no criminal charges were warranted in this manner. I think you did tell us. I think you told us, Mr. Hur. Page 231, you said this. President Biden had strong motivations. That's a key word. We're getting the motive now. President Biden had strong motivations to ignore the proper procedures for safeguarding the classified information in his notebooks. Why did he have strong motivations? Because, next word, because he decided months before leaving office to write a book. To write a book, that was his motive. He knew the rules, he broke them because he was writing a book. And you further say, and he began meeting with the ghostwriter while he was still vice president. There's the motive. Mr. Hur, how much did President Biden get paid for his book? Off the top of my head, I'm not sure if that information appears in the report. It sure does. There's a dollar amount in there. You remember? I, I don't. It, it may be eight million. If eight that's million added. dollars. Joe Biden had eight million reasons to break the rules. Took classified information and shared it with the guy who was writing the book. That's why he did. He knew the rules, but he broke them before eight million dollars in a book advance. But you know what? It wasn't just the money. Joe Biden, here's this, this page 231, very next page. Joe Biden, in, in your report, Joe Biden viewed his notebooks as an irreplaceable, contemporaneous record of the most important moments of his vice presidency. He had written this all down for the book, for the $8 million. And the next thing you say in your report is, quote, such a record would buttress his legacy as a world leader. You know what this is? It wasn't just the money. It wasn't just $8 million. It was also his ego. Pride and money is why he knowingly violated the rules. The oldest motives in the book, pride and money. You agree with that, Mr. Hur? You wrote it in your report. That language, and it does appear in the report, and we did identify evidence supporting those, uh, those assessments. You also had another interesting statement in your report. You said Joe Biden... I want to make sure I get this right. Viewed himself as a man of presidential timber. Remember that statement, Mr. Hur? I believe that does appear in the report, at least in the executive summary. I think this is interesting. Because here's the scary part. Page 200. I said this earlier in my opening statement. Page 200. Joe Biden, this is a quote, Joe Biden risked serious damage to America's national security when he shared information with his ghostwriter shared it with his ghostwriter, the guy who was helping Joe Biden get $8 million. And oh, by the way, Mr. Hur, what did that ghostwriter do with the information Joe Biden shared with him on his laptop? What did he do after you were named special counsel? Chairman, if you're referring to the audio recordings that Mr. Zwanitzer created of his conversations with exactly Mr. Biden, what I'm referring to. He, he, uh, he slid, if I remember correctly, uh, he slid those files into his uh, recycled bin on his computer. Tried to, tried to destroy the evidence, didn't he? Correct. The very guy who was helping Joe Biden get the $8 million, $8 million Joe Biden used, w w the motive for Joe Biden to, to disclose classified information, to retain classified information, which he definitely knew was against the law. When you get named special counsel, what's that guy do? He destroys the evidence. 
That's the key takeaway in my mind. That's the key takeaway. I yield back. From, is it Mr. Raskin? The gentleman from 